So we're here with Sergio Lambertenghi and Diego Negri, both from Italy. Uh, Diego, first, you're a double European champion and second at the Worlds in this star class. Uh, it's a tough class. It's not easy to jump into like some of, uh, some of these sailors have to do. Absolutely not. You need a lot of experience. You need a lot of practice to rig and, and trim the boat in the best way and, and steer the boat in the best way. Uh, I, was, I was sailing a lot in laser class and when, I, when I decided to, to pass to star and uh, I needed all this, this experience I had with laser. But then I started from the beginning. I knew how to, to, to sail in the regatta but I had to learn absolutely everything about trimming a boat. And then uh, after, after a while, I, I, anyway, made my experience. Uh, good choice, bad choice. Uh, at the end uh, I found a good average speed and was enough to reach these good results. And uh, Sergio, you're off the side of the boat. Uh, I did a little bit of sailing with uh, Robert Scheid and Bruno Prada yeah. and spoke to Bruno that, that that crewing position hiked right over the side, you know, your back hunched up. It looks incredibly painful. Just how hard is it? Well, it's not really hard when you used to. Uh, I started when I was younger than this and, and younger than now and, you know, you get used to it. It's, I mean, it's hard, but, but it's not so hard because when you get used to it, it's kind of a natural position, so it's not really hard. Okay, I think you're being modest there, Sergio. What about the vibe on your boat, the atmosphere, the, the kind of relationship between you both? You know, it's a, it's a two-man boat. Both of you have tactical input to the game. Sergio, I wonder, just describe how, how well do you work together as a team? Well, we better and better day by day because we just started to sail together in, in, this year and we have not much coordination on, until now, but it's getting better and better every day we sail together. Okay, and, and Diego, coming into a championship like this, um, it's not going to be easy to, to win, let alone getting to that top 10 cut. I mean, everybody needs to get to that top 10 cut. Um, just talk about your game plan a little bit, your strategy, your kind of overall big picture plan. Of course, uh, in a championship, uh, to be always the daily winner is not easy. But I mean, in the first three-day qualification days, for sure, uh, the top ten guys, uh, the top ten team of the fleet will be will be the, the best ones. So the first goal is to be in these ten, ten teams. And then on the last day for the daily game, uh, everything can happen. I mean, I won some, some races in my life, so everything can happen. Uh, race after race, uh, all important is to go step by step, I think. 10, 7 and then top 4. And the last top 4, uh, anybody can win, of course. Okay. And, and a final question to, to you guys. I mean, because of your, you're Italian and um, you know, the Italians are, are known for your emotion and your passion and we, we kind of love you for it. Um, talk about your, your passion for sailing a little bit. You know, we're in a beautiful spot, beautiful sailing. I mean, how much does it thrill you still to sail? Uh, my passion is a lot. I was uh, involved in many Olympic campaigns and last year I had some, some bad, let's say, bad luck for the, for the games in London, so I watched the, the games from television. But uh, after that we decided to, to with, with Sergio to sail for fun. So we are here to enjoy star sailing, I think is the best way for, 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 this, for practicing this sport. Uh, a lot of friends because of course uh, we met after uh, one year and a half with all these guys we spent a lot of time together so it's great to, to have this this moment together and same uh, we had a lot of time on the water so we started training these last two days like we did many days before uh, last uh, last few years so that's the best way we, we are doing our our sport uh, we enjoy that the, the, the place here is amazing uh, the weather is good, uh, I think the wind will come, today is less wind, but uh, uh, we hope not to have too much, uh, I mean, uh, anyway, it will be, will be fun for sure. And last word to Sergio, you're just your, your, your passion and your prospects. Well, m m my passion is started when I was a kid, uh, we had a, we had a sailing school, in, I, I live in Torbole on Lake Garda, and everybody there, I mean every family there send the, the, the kids to the yachting club because of it's a safe place for children and, and they can play and everything. I started sailing there with the Optimist and I sailed the laser and I don't know, it's just passion. I love, I love sailing, I love the, 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 the feeling when, when you sail and everything. 
Then I started sailing almost 25 years ago, star sailing, and and then I keep I keep on. I mean, I, I'm getting old, but I, I'm still here, and because I love the game. I mean, gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, good luck to you. Thank well you done, Bravo, Italy, and uh, good luck in this championship. Hope to Cheers. see you again. It means that thank we are you. doing well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.